Okay, so welcome back to Energy Plus for Beginners. And this video is the continuation of the previous videos about how can we model air conditioning, air, air renovation, and infiltration in Energy Plus. So we already saw in the previous videos how can we model an ideal loads air conditioning and how can we could we integrate air renovation to this system. Now we're going to see how can we set infiltration, okay? The infiltration, which is this phenomenon that the air coming uh, inside the environment through the cracks of windows, ceiling doors, etc. Okay, so let's go to our model here. And basically this is the air conditioning system that we are using. And let's go find a object called zone infiltration design flow rate so let's go up a little bit and here here in the class zone airflow we can add an object called zone infiltration design flow rate so let's include three objects here and each object is going to be used for each of one of our thermal zones then i'm going to name this infiltration of the living room infiltration of the bedroom and infiltration of the bathroom okay and it's very similar to the air renovation we can set a method okay we can be like design flow rate like square uh, cubic meters per per second and also flow rate per floor area and also flow rate per exterior surface area. This is very useful when we have like the measurements of the windows. Okay, so sometimes we, we know this, uh, depending on the quality of the window and the cracks of the window, we can set, for example, how much air blows through its cracks. So it's very useful, but we can also set, for example, air changes per hour. So those inputs here are more when you know something about this project and you have some measurements of, of the quality of the products that you are using in your project in your uh, building design and air changes per hour is more generic so let's use this one for this example so for example air changes per hour and i'm going to say that the living the infiltration of the living room is going to be around 0.2 air changes per hour okay and let's say the same thing of the on the bedroom and the same thing on the bathroom so that's the main idea what is missing here is the schedule name so we need to set a schedule of availability for the infiltration otherwise it's going to have infiltration all the time this actually in the real world doesn't happen Okay, this doesn't happen here in the real world because uh, the infiltration is the opposite schedule of the air conditioning. And this is happening because the air conditioning blows air. When it's, the air conditioning is working, it blows air through inside the, the building. And because of the difference of pressure, there is no infiltration when the air conditioning is on. Okay. There is a difference of pressure and there is no infiltration. So we usually model the schedule of the infiltration as the opposite of the schedule of their conditioning. So let's go off, let's go to the schedule compact. And we have the schedule availability here. So we are seeing this uh, air conditioning is, is always on. And basically, what we want to do is to duplicate this schedule and we're going to set as infiltration availability. And here, if you want the opposite, we can set this as zero, but this is not realistic because there is a condition is not going to be on all the time, right? So let's do a little adjustment in this schedule and let's do that. that let's say that this air condition is going to be operating until let's say uh, 18 and it's going to be off after uh, 18 hours so 
so 6 p.m. So from 6 p.m. to midnight is going to be zero. So there's no air conditioning happening here. Okay. Then the infiltration can be the opposite of it. So until 6 p.m. is going to be zero, and until oops, midnight is going to be one. Okay, that's the idea. We are saying that there is air conditioning until 6 p.m. and there is no infiltration because of the difference of pressure, and there is no air conditioning until midnight and there is infiltration because uh, there is no pressure, like no negative pressure impossibility in the infiltration to happen anymore. So there is going to be this infiltration. There is a small impact of infiltration on building design, like any operation, but it's also important to account because it's a phenomenon that actually occurs. Okay, so I think this is it. There is the infiltration, there is the thermostat, and we have also the ideal loads happening and the design specification for the outdoor air. So we have our renovation. So now we are all set and we can run simulation and it's going to be very uh, near to the reality. It's representing the reality really well. Okay, thanks for watching and see you next video.